Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Welcome to the 3D Experience Forum India 2022 brought to you by The Saw Systems. The theme of this summit is Virtual Twin Experience for Resilience and Sustainability. It aims to provide a glimpse into how innovation is happening in the 3D universe to enable businesses to take decisions rationally, futuristically, without causing waste and costs. Tesla Systems kicked off its flagship event, 3D Experience Forum India 2022, on September 13th in New Delhi. The event saw an attendance of over 300 delegates physically and more than 500 attendees connected virtually. As we welcome all of you, ladies and gentlemen, let's give this program an experiential start. Please invite Mr. Bernard Scholz, Vice Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Dassault Systems. The event brought together key decision makers from the industry, associations, startups, and innovators under one roof for thought provoking, engaging, and interactive discussions presented over an immersive experiential hybrid platform. The forum revealed many riveting stories of business resilience that paved way for a sustainable future through 3D experience platform across manufacturing, infrastructure and life science sectors. At Dassault Systems, Dassault Systems India, we are partnering with companies in manufacturing, infrastructure and life sciences sector. And if I have to talk about manufacturing, now we know it's beyond the conventional way of thinking. So for example, if I have to talk about industries like uh, transportation, mobility, aerospace and defense, we saw the new mobility programs, the EV coming into picture, the innovation, the, the innovative ideas of coming up with new materials, we see a lot happening in manufacturing. Now when I talk about infrastructure, as a country, yes, we are in the verge of developing the infrastructure it may be roads, it may be like you know, flyovers, the airports, the connectivity, the reach. It's, it's kind of a huge opportunity for all of us. On top of it, we should not forget the initiatives around green energy, something which we all work towards that. Then the life sciences sector, it is very, very obvious with what we experienced, it's important, not only with like, you know, providing a sophisticated medical equipment, but it's also equally important to build the health infrastructure. Being in a, such a big country, we know like, you know, a lot has to be done, and thanks to the government of India, they have been developing and they have been doing to a great extent, and one example is nothing but the vaccination, what we all actually kind of saw. So this is, this is truly a transformation which we are seeing from the country standpoint. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Deepak. And please help me welcome on stage Mr. Bernard Charles. As the 3D Experience Forum in India turns 16 this year, Tesla Systems power-packed the day with presentations and captivating sessions by their leadership team. I think that digitalization is a technique, but what is happening in the world those days is the virtualization of the world. This beautiful possibility to imagine and use science to govern the imagination and transform imagination to real solutions for the world. 
There is a lot of waste today in the world. There is so much waste in the world that there is more waste than the things which are well used, if you do the balance. So sustainability starts there. We have a motto in the system. I've pushed the team to say, design your waste. Make your waste a value. Design your waste. Don't design the product only. Design the waste. Make sure you predict what you're going to do with the product, because everything we do, like us as human, in my philosophy, it's temporary. It's just for a period of time, which, by the way, can be considered as relatively short as compared to the universe. But if we do an app impact and help to increase the quality of life of people, we have a lot of opportunities to do it. As we zoom into the future of India, we envision the future of mobility to be sustainable too. The 3D Experience Forum showcased how virtual twin experiences can bring this vision to reality. The delegates got a 360-degree view of how the big daddy of SUVs came to life using virtual twins on 3D Experience platform. Sustainability, which Mr. Bernard spoke about, is the topic here and how do we go about it. India needs it very badly. One is about environment, number two, our oil. We are 85% importer of oil, we can't afford. So get in and we are importing a lot of batteries from China while we are saying we are growing as a country on EV, but all the batteries are coming from China. So somebody has to take a step to say, go after hydrogen, solar and battery, but do it in India. So Reliance is on, on, on the way to do that. Mobility cuts across. How do we create an environment which is connected, autonomous, shared and electric? Now this is something which people are doing it in pieces in the country, we're going to really go all across through the whole chain. Create the whole system which is connected. The days are gone after some years, people may not actually own the vehicle at all. They may take on paper kilometer, they may take, the, those days are about to change. If you do business in a traditional way, it may not actually going to work. 8% of India's GDP is automobile. 8% of GDP is automobile. Imagine if that whole industry is about to get changed in the next four to five years. Many of the auto companies are still not believing that the dealerships model, the manufacturing models will go change. I'm a firm believer, we, we, we better start changing, otherwise consumer will make us change and then we'll be caught with all the kind of assets. Hydrogen is fast becoming a reality. Hydrogen is three times more efficient than diesel. Today problem is producing hydrogen and storage of hydrogen. If you can pull it off, which Reliance is working on, then hydrogen is the fuel of the future. Innovation is beyond just product to the ecosystem. It is, goes beyond and disrupt, promote design thinking, and remodel business operations, and obviously adopt virtual train, world train, because you have to keep modifying what customer is saying, get the data, get the experience, do it yourself, and then again keep modifying. You need to have the data. Thank you very much. Automotive industry in India is under tremendous, you know, pressure because of sustainability. We have gone through significant emission norm changes. We were the first in India who have shifted from BS4 to BS6 in three years' time. We are coming up with BS6 new version, OBD2, next year, which is again driven from sustainability. Nitin talked about products being electric. Entire business model is changing. We have 50,000 electric buses tender from state transport, where the ask is to run it per kilometer basis. They are not buying product, they are not buying services, so they are only asking you that we will charge you, we'll give you so much of money per kilometer and you have to manage the entire thing. So if you connect this again, what Nitin is saying, so automotive, there is a very significant shift from the hardware to software orientation. So a lot of electronics in the vehicle. Second shift is from product to solutions, because, and then the ecosystem. The next sessions deep dived into how productivity is the key to sustainable businesses. Converting imagination to reality. That is, that is what human 
uh, endeavor is all about, converting imagination to reality. Because human beings have, possess this unique ability to imagine. Maybe none of the life uh, in, on earth possesses this ability of imagining and converting that imagination into reality. And virtual technologies or the virtual twin technologies can make converting the imagination to reality much more faster, much better and bringing value to the end users. And that's what we want to achieve here. And using the same word, imagination, uh, LNT believes in imagineering. In fact, we say that it is all about imagineering. Because we are engineers to the nation, we are builders of the nation. Time to change the game to make our industry more sustainable. And at Dassault System, we know that there is no better place than India to make industry sustainable. Why? Because basically, India is the country of sustainable innovation. 69 Indian unicorns so far. 50 became unicorns during the last 18 months. India is one of the most innovative countries in the Global Innovation Index. And Bernard is not Indian, but some other leaders are Indian. And I can tell you, Bernard is a bit Indian in his birth, if not a lot. And now let me offer you a sneak peek into the latest technologies that are being showcased here. We have stakeholders from the field of architecture, engineering, construction, aerospace, automobile, even the life sciences. It is truly incredible to imagine how this technology is enabling a design revolution of sorts. The event featured a 3D experience playground that enabled the event attendees to experience virtual twin experience live in action. They also gained insights into sector-specific usage stories of 3D experience platform. Well, time now for a very short break. But when we come back, we hear from the industry greats about how virtual twin experience has enabled them in manufacturing, design and innovation. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're watching our special on 3D Experience Forum India 2022 brought to you by The Saw Systems. Let us now hear from the industry experts on how this technology is making its presence felt in commercial vehicle segment, in engineering and construction, in product design and enhancement, and how sustainability remains at the core of it all. This is, this is the 3D Experience Forum India 2022 delved into industry challenges its solutions, and how digital transformation and a platform approach could power innovation and propel new business models and growth. The focused breakout tracks featuring customers and industry experts deep-dived into themes such as sustainable innovation from supply chain to value networks and virtual twin experience for business resilience. The forum seems to definitely prepare leaders for the economy of the future. Having discussed the power of digitalization and virtual twins to foster a thriving society, the participating delegates had some key takeaways from the event. This is India's decade, right? India's decade. Technology is going to drive the transformation in the country. And we all, being part of the technology consortium, we are all very proud that we are going to be the flag bearers of this transformation. Today, I think the, the country as well as the globe is looking at the sustainable innovation, uh, keeping sustainability at the heart of everything that we do. We have had great learnings. Some of the industry leaders like Reliance Industries Limited, Volvo Aisha and l Entry Engineering Hydrocarbon has been sharing their thoughts, experiences and key use cases. Uh, what was interesting, secondly, was also the startup stories this year. Uh, some of the best startups in the life sciences and healthcare industry in India share their great stories on how technology can be an enabler in having patient-centric outcomes. 
I think as and when we see the evolution of the healthcare industry, technology will be a great level setter to improve the common man life, we believe. Especially on this forum, what I learned is the, uh, there is a playground where a lot of industry uh, solutions are being demonstrated. How uh, each of these industries can uh, work on to this uh, sustainability line. Uh, also, uh, what I also learned is like how the companies like Reliance Industries or you know the uh, the, the startup or even l and Hydrocarbon how they are making progress on the sustainability area. Forum 2022 is uh, developed on the main theme of sustainability and another aspect of technology side is developing the virtual twin and combining both these concepts it, it is uh, boosting our own program what we are handling in our company which is Epsilon program. So using the virtual twin or digital twin what we call out where we are integrating all the data points and improve the visibility within people and it will help people to take decision faster, optimize resources and probably improve the productivity and that's where we are implementing sustainability solution in our company. The theme for this year was Virtual Twin Experiences for Resilience and Sustainability, which again is a very uh, relevant topic at this point of time. So, and we saw some examples of how the Virtual Twin is actually being used by some of the industry leaders in their current uh, projects and what they're looking at uh, for the future as well. So that was great. I now have the pleasure of speaking with Bahna Shales, CEO and Vice Chairman of Dassault System. Welcome to India, welcome to Network Thanks. 18. Virtual twin experiences and virtual twin universes are positively influencing every aspect of our lives. What are some of the key impact areas for you? There are multiple impacts in many, many industries. The idea is to be able to have, to imagine, create and produce in the virtual world and to verify that it works, not create too much waste mm -hmm. and really make it right first time. Uh, we did that for the last 40 years in aerospace, very sun on space, and we think it's applicable to almost all industries. And uh, I think it has this beauty of uh, creating optimal, frugal mm -hmm. engineering and construction for the things we want to have in our life. Longevity being uh, one of the main aspects that you're concentrating on. You talk about sustainable development, sustainable economy, sustainable innovations, and it's at the heart of everything that you're doing. Would you elaborate on that? Please? If you notice, a lot of companies have been investing a lot of money to invent new products and services. But none of them think about the waste they create. Imagine we can design the waste. Imagine at the same time you design products and solutions, you think about how the waste can be a value for the circular economy. Uh, life sciences, health and technology, how do you see this transformation, the 3D universe and the virtual twin experience and the technology now impacting that industry? When it comes to the SO system, we have invested a lot for clinical trial, for example, to verify that therapeutics will be providing good value reduce the risk. We are investing massively to move to what I call um, precision medicine, which is to qualify which group of people will get the best benefit of new therapeutics. Also improving surgery with uh, the twin of your heart or your brain. And we have seen at the conference today beautiful startups doing that. So it's uh, the beginning of a new era to really create this virtual twin of human, not to have an avatar, I don't care about avatar, <laughs> frankly speaking, but to really improve everything related to the understanding about how we can improve life, improve also uh, nutrition, big impact uh, on, on our lives, and also uh, fix, uh, you know, um, uh, different uh, accident situation, prothesis, best air prothesis, and many, many other things like this. So we are at the beginning of a massive transformation in life science. Well, that's a very high note uh, uh, to end our conversation, Nat. I wish you all the best, and thank you so much for the wonderful insights and this interaction. Welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Let me also tell you, during his India visit, CEO and Vice Chairman of Dessau Systems, Bakhna Shales launched the Earth 
Tower project at their Pune campus. He also viewed the state-of-the-art 3D experience lab that promises to be a game-changer for startups. With the aim of boosting innovation and virtual twin technology in India, Deso Systems expanded its existing campus in Pune with the addition of a third building, Earth. Bakhnat Shales unveiled the foundation stone for the Earth Tower of the Pune campus, which is expected to be completed in three years. With the expansion of this office space, Deso Systems is looking to attract top talent to strengthen its R&D efforts in India. By 2030, the Pune campus workplace capacity is expected to be close to 9,000. The Pune campus also includes the 3D Experience Lab and La Fondesea Deso Systems. The 3D Experience Lab touches thousands of Indian startups, supports them to work on disruptive innovations by leveraging collective intelligence and nurtures them to eventually transform society at large. La Fondesea Deso Systems is supporting and enabling academic research, innovation, creating the workforce of the future helping thousands of students to shape their career and promoting entrepreneurial skills in school children. And this is how 3D Experience Forum India 2022 brought to you by Deso Systems wrapped up in Delhi and in Pune. I hope you enjoyed watching the highlights. Focus, ideate, innovate, enable.